joint development venture by Concord and Des Moines Municipal Councils, 1968-1973. Canada Bay, a relatively small inlet off Hen and Chicken Bay, is situated on the common boundary between the municipalities of Concord and Des Moines. It consisted predominantly of mangroves and open tidal flats, which, because of their proximity to dwellings, created a continual source of complaints from neighbouring residents. Over a period of years, from 1965 to 1968, a series of conferences were held between Concord and Des Moines councils, culminating in May 1967 in a joint agreement between the councils and the Maritime Services Board of New South Wales to reclaim the entire area of some 20 hectares providing 130 residential lots, a nine-hole extension to the Barnwell Park public golf course and approximately 12 hectares of active and passive open space in Sintra Park. Construction commenced in July 1968 by the placement of fill material in the form of a bank into and through the main mangrove area. In September 1968, the final agreement between Concord and Des Moines Councils was executed, which established an organisation completely independent of both councils to control the overall development. The organisation, known officially as the Concord Des Moines Reclamation Committee, consisted of three aldermen from each council, elected each triennial term, with the town clerk and the engineer on both councils also being members with full voting rights. The committee was a most successful innovation and it is of interest that of the 28 meetings held from June 1968 to May 1974, every decision taken was unanimous. The construction consisted of a series of controlled banks within which filling was placed with a large amount of garbage fill with suitable cover being placed in the tidal flat area of Sintra Park. The major bank in this view is virtually complete with the impounded area behind. A view of Canada Bay adjoining Concord prior to filling being placed in this area. In this locality, the filling was restricted to hard fill, being mainly excavated material from city building projects. Again, a view of the impounded areas. Dredging commenced in March 1970, and approximately 160,000 cubic metres of hydraulic fill was removed from Canada Bay into selected disposal areas behind the control banks, at the same time removing badly silted areas in the bay and providing a depth of four feet at low water. A large amount of shell grit and other granular material was dredged from the bay and formed an excellent basis of fill for the future golf course. Roadworks closely followed the filling and placing of dredge material 
the view here of the intersection of Walker Street and Bayview Road. In this location, looking westerly along the future line of Lyons Road West. view of Cook Avenue, a small cul-de-sac adjoining Sintra Park at the early stage of construction. The first sale of land was held in this locality in February 1971 when 12 lots were sold in, um, by Dremoyne Council at an average price of $12,500. All services in the residential areas were undergrounded and covenants placed on building blocks requiring service connections to be undergrounded also. The covenants, in addition, required brick construction restricted to one storey in the Dremoyne area and two storeys in Concord. All residences to be constructed on correctly designed concrete rafts. The advantages of undergrounding of services is quite evident in the now completed areas. The provision of sewerage and water was undertaken by the councils themselves rather than by payment to the Metropolitan Water Sewerage and Drainage Board with very ap apparent economic advantages. A view of Lyons Road West under construction. This road was designed to carry the major volume of traffic through the area, forming a link between Five Dock and Concord. commenced in 1971 of a major length of seawall in accordance with a design and to standards laid down by the Maritime Services Board of New South Wales. Being a continuity of an existing seawall in Kings Bay and a small section which existed at the foot of Regatta Road, Five Dock. Lyons Road West, in the vicinity of Regatta Road, at this stage unconstructed. Initial work began on the preparation an additional nine hole extension to the Barnwell Park golf course and following regrading of the area greens were laid out and grassing commenced as early as practicable. A complete watering service was provided to the golf course including the um, construction of a holding reservoir. A view of the almost completed seawall providing an indication of the height of fill which was placed in the area. Contracts were let 
1972 for the construction of a major road bridge over the Sintra Park stormwater channel. And following construction of the bridge itself and completion of the approaches, traffic control measures were also provided. Road construction carried on in the Concord area in conjunction with further preparation of greens in the golf course. and the grading and seeding of fairways. A panoramic view of Dremoyne Municipality taken from the Bushels factory showing the city of Sydney in the distance, a section of Wimston Parade and Hen and Chicken Bay, the first nine holes of the Barnwell Park golf course, a newly completed clubhouse, development in the Canada Bay locality, including new dwellings within the recently completed subdivision, the now completed garbage fill area of Sintra Park with tennis courts in the construction in the background. development in the Concord area in which as many trees as possible were retained and the view of the stormwater channel extension for which a contract was let in November 1972 at a price of $106,000 extended by agreed variations to The contract um, was difficult in that, it was in that it was a high risk operation because of the large volume of stormwater flow in the channel following rain together with a most unstable subgrade. The channel was constructed by the placing of the floor while at the outlet due to badly silted conditions it was necessary to drive a series of turpentine piles to rock. seen very little resistance was afforded the pile at least in the initial stages of driving the operator in this sequence is preparing the toe of the pile
the steel angle is then affixed to provide a reasonable point for driving. The head of the pile is also prepared to take a sleeve which in turn will accept the pile dolly. A grader in this instance is providing topsoil to the, the fairways of the golf course extension. At a late stage of the construction, traffic control islands were provided in lines road west. Sintra Park being graded and grass sods being placed on the banks adjoining the stormwater channel. contract was also let by Dremoyne Council for the construction of a minor bridge in Lyons Road West crossing the Barnwell Park stormwater channel. The approaches were constructed by the council. The last sale of residential land was held on the 1st of December 1973 on this occasion by Dremoyne Council. This scene is typical of the many sales that took place over the period of three years. The peak average price of land was achieved by Concord Council in November 1973 when an average of $27,500 per lot was obtained. The official opening of the scheme was attended by all, all, all those associated over the period of years, including the various aldermanic representatives. Canada Bay Improvement Scheme, a joint venture by Concord and Tremoyne Municipal Councils officially opened on the 7th of December 1973 by His Worship the Mayor of Concord Alderman Allen Wright on the left and His Worship the Mayor of Dremoyne Alderman Bob Smith who cut the ribbon at the major road bridge, road bridge and declared the scheme completed three weeks before the program date first set down by the committee in July 1968. The first cars move across the bridge.
and the connecting road between Far Dock and Concord is officially open. The new road is now accepting a high volume of traffic and forms a very convenient alternative to the use of Parramatta Road and Queens Road. skirts a King's Bay and forms a most attractive drive. The Barnwell Park is a public golf course now extended by completion of the final nine holes to an 18 hole facility is a particularly popular amenity. Here players from the Barnwell Park Golf Club are using the course for an associates event midweek. as will be seen is not without, without its hazards based on the possible loss of balls in the adjoining bay and through the crossing of Lines Road West in the adjoining bay and through the crossing of Lines Road West. This film has been prepared by Tremoyne Municipal Council which provides an excellent example of the liaison and cooperation which can be affected by local authorities.